Do you think I'm too old to be a YouTuber? Hmm. So this is Coco, who I am currently dog-sitting, and we were just discussing whether or not I am too old to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Uh, so in my last video, I came out about my age. Thank you so much for all the comments. It was amazing to see where people guessed I was uh, age-wise. There was quite the range. If you missed that video, just click on the info card uh, to check it out and see all the, all the guesses that people had. Um, but now the question is, now that it's out there and out in the open about just how old I am, is there a place for me on YouTube? Is there a place for anyone on YouTube who's older? What a terrible thing to say, hey Coco. Um, and it's, I think, a legitimate question, concern, because you don't really see a lot of people who are in their 40s or older on YouTube, or certainly not dominating YouTube. When I go to the trending page, it's mostly Logan Paul and people around that age. So we're talking like early 20s, sometimes teenagers, sometimes younger. Kind of when you look all over YouTube, that's who's dominating it. It's really hard to find a lot of people who are 40 plus on YouTube. Um, and you know, I used to go to BidCon and Playlist Live, all those big YouTube conferences every year. And a big part of why I stopped going is because it was just filled with mostly teenagers. And there's nothing wrong with teenagers, but I don't necessarily want to hang out with 20,000 of them as they're running around screaming after their favorite YouTuber, who happens to also be a teenager or a little bit older than that. Uh, you know, I sort of feel like I'm a parent or something, like I should go hang out in the parents' lounge. Um, so I just kind of wonder, you know, is there a place for us on this platform? Um, Michael Buckley used to be a big YouTuber. He was in like the top 10 or top 20 when he was in his 30s. Um, and now he's kind of fallen off the map. I mean, he had to start a new YouTube channel that I think has fewer subscribers than I have. And he still makes videos, but he doesn't consider himself to be a YouTuber per se. He considers himself to be a life coach who happens to make YouTube videos. He's had a change in career because YouTube just wasn't working out for him anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, a big part of me thinks that, yes, there's a, there's a space for us on here. Uh, when I look at my analytics, I have just as many people who are over the age of 55 who watch me who are teenagers, and most fall in between, 20s, 30s, 40s, and early 50s. Uh, and I think, you know, I'd like to watch mostly people who are around my age range, so probably people who are around my age range would mostly like to watch us as well. And I have you, you're watching me, or probably you have been watching for a while, hopefully you will continue to watch. So maybe I just don't even need to concern myself with that. Maybe it's just like, who cares what everybody else is doing, just we'll do our thing. But I don't know, it's come up before and uh, you know, it's also a reason why I was hiding my age before because I thought it would be embarrassing to say like I'm a YouTuber when I'm 40 or um, you know, just being on this platform at all, making silly videos, maybe that's why. Maybe it's also something to do with just the fact that the young people of today, the youth of today, grew up with the internet, and if they're really young, grew up with social media, they didn't know a life before this stuff. Whereas for me, um, I didn't know what the internet was until I graduated high school. So I lived most of my life without the internet. And so most of us who are getting on in years, <laughs> getting older, Man, I'm making myself so, sound old today. Um, but, you know, those of us who are 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond, um, maybe we don't spend as much of our lives on the internet. I think young people are more apt to share videos with all their friends and follow on multiple platforms and, uh, you know, be really engaged, liking and commenting and that sort of thing. And frankly, they probably just have more time, right? Mostly a teenager would have more time to spend watching content on YouTube whereas older people might have entire careers and families that they're taking care of and the whole shebang so they don't spend so much time on the internet and they're not used to being just so engaged. They're more used to watching a show like you'd watch it on TV. So I don't know. Uh, the, these are the thoughts that Coco and I had. Coco is now over it because she is taking a nap. <laughs> but I'd be curious to know what you think about 
aging on YouTube and if there is a place uh, for somebody who's over 40 and somebody who's 40 plus should be making YouTube videos. Uh, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, I'll take them all. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye! It's a little purple dinosaur. That's what Coco's into. <laughs>